everyone and welcome back to Homesteading Ways. Today I'm going to show you how I make um, a gift candy box. And I got the idea from the grocery store because I kept seeing them there in the floral department. And what it was is just um, a decorative box and I had some tissue paper and ribbons and stuff like that and then up on these sticks were full-size candy bars. Not the real giant ones, but not the minis. Just, you know, the kind you see at um, the checkout area. And sometimes they had a little balloon with them, sometimes they didn't. But what got me about them was the price tag. $25.99. Wow! $26 for basically four or five candy bars. Oh. No way, no way. They took a good idea and they wrecked it with that. So I figured, you know, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make myself one. And I did. So I figured I would um, share the idea with you because I feel like it's a really good gift for not only kids, but teachers, coworkers, different holidays like Valentine's Day or Sweetest Day. You can personalize these however you want based on that individual. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, first thing you need to do is get yourself a cup of something that you love. Coffee, tea, cider, juice, whatever. But you want to have something with you because this should be a fun and relaxing activity. So here are the different candies I got. And these I got at Walmart. So I got Reese's Pieces, Sour Patch, Skittles, Mike and Ike, and some standard M&Ms. Um, some of these things I already had, some, and um, the rest of them, oh, I got a balloon, a small balloon from um, Walmart. That was 97 cents. Everything else, if I didn't buy it just recently, then I had it, but I still bought it from Hobby Lobby. I just love that store. Oh geez, I could spend half a day there. So anyhow, I have this box. This was, you can fold it, 97 cents. Um, if you have a box at home, you know, you got something from Amazon or um, just whatever you have laying around, go ahead and use that. I was gonna use a tin and wrap that in wrapping paper, but this is just, so easy here so I just decided to use this so I'm gonna make it into the box to start with because my putzing around isn't helping it there these little tab things aren't fitting right maybe I should have stuck with the tin <laughs> okay there we go and now I'm just gonna fold these in because I don't want those up I don't need them up And I'm debating if I should tape this underneath. We'll see once it's done. And I'm putting this floral foam in there. Fits perfect. Now, if your box is a little bit bigger and you don't want it too top heavy, whatever you have, like I have some leftover river rocks, I could stick those in either side here and that would help to keep it, you know, a little bit heavier or more sturdy. Right now, I don't think I'll need them, but um, I may add them later on. So I don't, I don't think I need to get rid of this plastic, but I can't remember if I did it before or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do after that is I bought these um, craft sticks. They look like tongue depressors. You can use these for so many crafts. They're so nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue on this way, like that. And hopefully it'll stick. I don't want to do that. I just don't feel like... I don't know, I don't like the way that looks. So I did it this way last time, so I'm gonna do it again. So get your little hot glue gun going, and this definitely is a little one. 
but it does what it needs to. And then you're going to want to center that. I think I need more glue, so I'm going to get a little bit on here as well. I'm just going to push that on and let it sit. And I'll work on my other candies. So I got them glued up. And they only had to sit for five or ten minutes, and I used a lot of glue because some of these are really kind of heavy, and the rhesus in particular. So I'm going to show you, see if I can get really close. So not only did I glue like underneath, but if you can see, I got around the edges, so I put it a little bit over the stick just so it would be strong enough and, you know, the candy wouldn't drop off before it was delivered. Not trying to make it hard for the kids or whoever to get into their candy. But so then um, the sticks are kind of wide and these boxes are actually kind of big. So it's going to be kind of not really sure how, how great I'm going to get these spaced out. But this is the biggest box and I'm just going to put that over in here. And it can kind of rest on the box itself. I think that's fine. I'm going to put this here. It doesn't take much to get in there. So that's already in there pretty good because of this uh, foam. And then maybe I'll stick this on this side like so. And we have that going there. Now, I bought this, because I love using this stuff, you know, I don't know what you call it, like paper grass. And I'm going to put that into the sides here, and then I'm probably going to hot glue some on there, just so, you know, it looks nicer. Yeah, it's a little messy, but it's fun. And I don't think I need anything to weigh it down. It feels pretty secure. Just a little bit more. This is wider on this side than the other side. So I'll take my glue gun again, and I'm just going to put little bits here and there. I'm not going to put glue all over this. I just want to make sure some of it sticks. I'm not glue again. Okay. Get some spread out on there. They make this in a lot of different colors. So if you want to do a specific color scheme, Go ahead and check out Hobby Lobby or, you know, wherever you like to get your craft supplies. I go to Michael's sometimes, but only if they have um, some good coupons because Michael's tends to be pricey. Okay, we got that going on. I don't like the way that's... And try and put this further back. Okay, maybe get a little more glue right in here. Okay, so I got a bunch of this hot glued in there. This keeps moving, so I'm going to have to find a way to secure that. I might hot glue the stick to the box. But then the next thing I wanted to do was add this balloon. Now it's too long, so I bent it to about how far I wanted it. I'm going to snap that there. Now the small balloons you can find fairly easy, but there is like um, a shortage of helium. So you probably won't find big balloons in a lot of places anymore. Um, 
I think like the dollar store still has them, but they're flat. So you just tell them which one you want and then they'll fill it. But anyhow, the small balloons tend to hold their air a long time too. So I think that's nice. So let's see here. Uh, we're gonna stick that in right up here on the corner. Oh, too much on the corner, I guess. Let me see, I gotta figure out, okay. I want it higher than the candy. I'd like it a little bit lower. Okay, there we go. And I was thinking about this. Um, you don't have to use these types of sticks. You can use dowels. You can use um, whatever you find that works for you. Just go ahead and do this however you want to do it. So this, these two keep moving, so I'm going to have to glue them in. I could try and put this one in here. Stick. Yeah, we're going to have to stick that. So then um, one of the last things I want to do is I want to put these little ribbons on there, make it just a little bit more festive. This is going for a girl, so it kind of helps that, um, well, this is that Paw Patrol thing but um, you can do these for boys girls see and if you do different candies or whatever you could have a little room in here to put a small toy or book or something like that if you like you can really do what you want you just your imagination is what you need the most of I suppose so let's see here these ribbons just gives it that nice festive feel you know It's always nice to try and hand make something if you can because I feel like that really conveys to people that you truly do care about them or you think they're special they're worth that time and effort to you you know so I'm gonna get the last these little things are hard to come off sometimes when you're trying to get that backing off they make it look so easy on the little picture here it's not. Probably should have done this ahead of time. There we go. Okay. I like symmetry. So they're kind of going on each side. And there you go. You know, I think it looks good. I think it's fun and festive. Might add a little bit more grass over here. I do have to tighten that one up a little bit. But I think almost anybody would be happy to get this. You know, you could, and it doesn't always have to be candy. Do what you want with it. But, you know, uh, maybe someone's down in the dumps and, you know, you just want to cheer them up. Maybe it is a birthday. Maybe it's an anniversary for some important event in their life. I mean, you could give a gift to someone you care about for any occasion, and I'm sure they would love it. But anyhow, thanks for watching, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Thumbs up if you like the video, and um, comment down below. Let me know if you've made something like this, or how you did it differently, or how you think it could be made better, because I'm open to that, too. And I think we'd all like to learn and hear about it. So anyhow, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. It was nice talking to you. And you, take care.